Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So today we have such a fun video planned. I'm actually going to be making my Halloween costume. And I know a majority of my subscribers are going to absolutely love this one. We are going to be making a Titanic Halloween costume. I've already bought all the stuff. I got a few pieces of paper, some red, some gold, and I really don't think this should take all that long. <laughs> And I got some like cardboard foam. Uh, and we're just gonna be making kind of like the structure around me protruding out. So I'm gonna be like the ship. <laughs> Does that make sense? All right, let me show you. Okay, to start out, we're gonna be measuring our width. So I just kind of trace the sides of me to see how wide I am. <laughs> And I'm just tracing out the front deck of the boat. I want it to be pretty snug, not too snug. You want to be able to fit in it, but I want it to be able to fit on me without falling down. Now I am just cutting out what I traced. Uh, using scissors like that doesn't really help. I use the whole stab method and slice. This worked a lot better. <laughs> and then you will just karate chop it out punch it out of there and you're good to go. You got your first little piece done. Okay, now I'm just trimming up the edges, make sure everything's smooth and then fitting it, making sure it fits snugly. There's not like a weird bump poking out. And now it is glue time. So cue the time lapse. This takes a little bit of time because glue has to dry y'all. Sadly, the Titanic did receive some damages during the building process. This could have resulted in the sinking. Hey, kitty! <laughs> Don't bite it, it's foam. Okay, we got the start going. There's what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna attach it to my shoulders. I gotta do the back panel so my butt doesn't show. What do y'all think? You think it'll turn out okay? <laughs> I kinda love it so far, honestly. I think Sam is gonna die when he sees it. <laughs> Alrighty, this is what she looks like from my perspective standing in the costume. And outside, we're going to put two funnels here and then all of the detailing down below. Some Gorilla Glue would have been really great. I still have any, but this will work just fine. Okay, so it is a couple days later. This is what we have so far. Just the vague outline. So I still have a lot of work to do. Uh, Halloween is Sunday, so I definitely, I'm going to try to get it done today. Um, it just needs all the decorations. See, I got all the paper here. This is like the perfect yellow collar. I'm going to do two funnels on top. I don't know. I'm just really excited to get this done. I think it's going to look so good. So let's get to work. So I'm going to look at the picture of the Titanic, compare it, see what I can do. The cat is currently sleeping, so hopefully... She stays snoozing. I'm gonna to try to be quiet in here because <laughs> if I'm ever on the ground, she likes to be right next to me. So hopefully she stays asleep. <laughs>
just done. Look at this. It's freaking beautiful. My cat loves it, so I think I'm gonna make it a cat home <laughs> after. Um, I'm thinking about, should I put Titanic on it? I mean, I know like it wasn't on like the original, like very big. But like, it's not like our proportions are exact. Like this window does not exist. Like I'm taking some creative liberties. I think you all know that. This cat loves this thing. It cracks me up. Look at her in there. Kitty, look at this thing. Yeah, I definitely think I need to write Titanic on it. I think it would be a lot cuter. But look at this cat. Do you like the Titanic? So in order to put Titanic on there, I'm cheating a little bit. I just have the black background with the white and I'm gonna put that on the front of the ship. RMS Titanic. Alrighty, let's go put it on the ship. Okay, so I was thinking about the back part of the Titanic that won't really be seen. So my solution is just make up a little back panel, glue this on, and then I can tie some kind of fabric or maybe overalls or something to this and clip it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue it now and hopefully this all works out. I'm kind of making it up as I go. So whenever I glued this on, it actually fit snugly enough that I was comfortable that I didn't even need the strap. So if you're going to wear it for a long, long time uh, and it's not, it's kind of big on you, maybe add straps, but I just didn't find it necessary. It's time for the reveal. Go ahead. 